What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it has been a while since I filmed anything, but today we're out at the track. We, uh, we got Martin's car here behind me. You guys can see the Rad Dan tent set up. And uh, we're out here for the Gear Wrenches Rad Drift event. Uh, Martin's going to be competing and uh, practice is starting in just a few minutes. So let's get right to it. it for practice. Uh, practice went pretty good. Martin looked good. Uh, we got to get him a little bit out in the outer zones a bit more. Um, but uh, we're going to be up for competition in a couple hours. Everybody's on lunch break right now, so we're all going to chill. And uh, we've got driver introductions and then comp in a couple hours. So we'll see you then. new drivers you guys get to sample some of these tools so let's just have a clean competition have fun out here hopefully all the cars stay in one piece um that's probably all i gotta say uh zach's car just showed up so we are gonna let him get like a couple laps in after these driver introduction here happen so we got a full field of 16 drivers so it's about that time for a top 16 competition funny enough martin is actually up first against uh micah diaz from Hoonigan, so that should be fun. Uh, Mike is driving about a 600 horsepower uh, LS powered uh, E36, so it uh, should be fun for Martin. Let's get to it. Martin got the win in round one, hopping in the car, getting ready for top eight. Let's see how it goes. 
up against Martin at S14. Eric's going to be that chase driver. Martin to lead first. First half of this battle in the top eight. These guys are battling out for thousands of dollars in gear wrench tools, Torco oil, and GT radio tires. As Martin clicks in the outside zone of a run. A little bit of a hang up going in the outside. Three, and here we go, the second half of the battle here. Eric clicks in that 370Z into outside zone number one, and Martin with a big swing following that 370Z into the course here. Eric doing a great job getting nice and deep outside two, but Martin's on the back Lead position getting chased down by Eric in that 370Z. We got clean air on the track ready for this one more time battle as Martin leads the line. Eric shortly behind him. Martin flicks that S14 into outside zone number one. Eric, that 370 right behind him. Both drivers working in outside two. Eric's doing a great job working on the backside of Martin's line. Now we're flying with that woman. <laughs> Eric and that 370Z quick save is Martin right behind him. Eric with a big swing, Martin waiting, patient, standing right behind him. And Eric quick in that 370Z now by number three. Martin with a great So Martin has got his second one more time battle with uh, with Eric in this 370Z here. We're gonna head back out there. We let uh. Temperatures cool down a bit after the first one more time and uh, get back out there and compete. Clicked out of the box, taking that lead. Rolls over to outside zone number one. Martin doing a good job. Let's see if the air is not far behind us. Martin got uh, knocked out in the top eight. Eric did some fantastic driving. Uh, Martin didn't go down without a fight. You know, six laps to get Martin out. So, uh, you know, we uh, take what we can get. And uh, Eric did some great driving. And uh, we'll go ahead and stay around and watch the rest of the uh, rest of the top 16 driving. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Brad Track Day 2022 with Nick Franco pushing that E92 BMW to outside zone number one. But Eric's not far behind him. Right in the pocket. In the 370Z, and Eric Welch in the 370Z takes the win. And here we go, Spencer Casey locking himself in to outside turn number one. Eric right behind him. Spencer Casey, he's in the 